on Tuesdays. back for all you action figure and toy enthusiasts out there it is alternate heads season deuce, two. And deuce. yes wait well it's, it's two anyway thanks for joining us for another uh action-packed hour of plastic crap that we collect anyway i am jason the x brothers on the table we've got bryce we've got mir how you boys doing good busy y'all tired y'all didn't collect anything while we were gone though right not a thing no, nope. th- okay. This show nope. is not for Just kids sure. ages under thirteen. Uh no, dude, because it ain't. <laughs> We're glad to be back. Like, like thanks shit. for watching. <laughs> I hope you missed us. I know they. Of course they missed us. Come on, they Bryce, better. They all better Bryce have missed did, us. Bryce said for an entire month that he did not miss any of you. That's just mean. I, I mean, there were most of you I missed. There were a couple. Mm. The ones that keep stalking him outside of his house, like the. You had to get blackout curtains because of that. Yeah. So yeah, I did. That Patreon idea. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond yeah. tier. Yes, and we did just pass the holidays. I hope that uh, the uh, Santa fairies or whatever were good to y'all on the, the toys that you received for this uh, holiday season. Buddy the Elf delivered a couple to me. They're good. I enjoyed Christmas. Worked out really well. I think Christmas worked out for me. Anyway... So, uh, like we always start out in this show, let's go into some new acquisitions. This is going to be probably long because it's been a little bit. It's for, actually uh, surprisingly still not that long because... I think that, we just passed over a couple things. That so. was the big thing about that we were taking the break anyway. It was because it was such a dead air moment. And it was it was tough. Like, me and you were talking about how we were, like, finally getting over the addiction of Marvel Legends. And then the moment some hit, I was like, I need more six-inch plastic. <laughs> Give them to me. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to start with Bryce while you uh, calm your ass down. Mm. Bryce, what are we looking at on the table over here, buddy? We got some 8-inch fantastic retro cloth uh, that's um, beautiful in so many ways. Check it out, gang. This is uh, a plethora of goodies. Been spending over here. Well, actually, these are all Christmas gifts for my friends. So, uh, actually I actually didn't spend any money on any of these, but, uh, but oh, these good. are all then wonderful. When one goes missing, it'll be fine. No, no, we can't have that. Yes, we've seen a couple of these uh, in your uh, news stories, but yeah, go right ahead. Brandon. Yeah. So, we're going to start with a limited edition Man of Steel resurrection figure. It's good to see something that was presented as news. Finally, here live and in living color yeah it's really cool i really like it uh this came actually with two different head sculpts you got the good one and i did get the good one this is the updated sculpt uh not the one from the original superman figure made by Mego in the 70s so this is um a good looking figure and we've got um i i i have not opened it yet as you can see but i really like what i'm seeing here i like the um the the card art and i really like uh the execution of the figure i think it I think it looks fantastic. And it's limited edition, guys, so get it while you can from FTC. Uh, what you're looking at uh, next to Kal-El is his cousin, and she is adorned in her screen print uh, costume, which this is something I've been wanting to, to have. Uh, Supergirl was originally released by Mego in the 70s um, in the costume like this, just like this. This is a this is a hard to get item these days. From as far as you, if you were trying to track down a vintage screen printed Supergirl, so FTC remade this. Uh, I have not been able to track down one vintage wise, so this is as close as I'm going to get. So I'm really happy wrong. this. Well, I'm hoping it looks better out of package, mm. but I don't like what they're doing with the hair in the package. By the way. You just need to open up one of these right now. Right now? No, 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 no. keep going. Keep oh, okay. Open it yeah. in the show. Yeah, she's. Uh, but I'm just just know that I'm really happy to have this because I have I have a couple of others that were screen printed uh, by Mego in the day, and those are vintage. But this one is not. But I'm really happy that FTC made it. Uh, uh, coming up next, we have um, somebody who 
can uh, belt out a tune. Black Canary, uh, she is uh, finally getting her first retro cloth figure ever. And I thought FTC did a bang up job on this costuming. Uh, and the figure, I think, uh, couldn't really have been done much better, except for maybe if the jacket could have been slightly bigger, but uh, that's just a little Ooh. quibble. I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here, including um, the necklace. The the the, oh, the yeah, choker choker yeah. choker yeah very happy that they included that and I really like the fact that it looks like she's actually doing her canary cry. I'm happy with that. So kudos to FTC. They made uh, this DC fan very happy by releasing some good product here. On to Nightwing. Uh, this is a variation of the '80s disco Nightwing. It's the same head sculpt. It's, but that's my favorite suit in Nightwing. I've, yes, Nightwing's one of my favorite DC characters, so it it this, this that's the one my, that might go missing. Yeah, this is the suit I like. Yeah, I really love this. Um, it's simple and very effective in its design. It, they didn't need to do much to do it. I I often wondered why they didn't release this a couple of years ago or more. No, this one's supposed to be like vintage style. Does he have his mullet? No, he doesn't have the mullet on this on that figure. They grew uh, no. out of it. Yeah, yeah, I don't believe he has the mullet. It, it, I like non-mullet Nightwing, but I mean, there's something to be said about uh, rocking that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Also, um, we have Hawkman, which I am very pleased with the head sculpt on this. I could, I could not be happier Do with Hawkman. Do accessories come with these guys? Uh, no, not oh. with Hawkman nor Nightwing. Sorry, oh. no, no, no accessories. Unfortunately, Hawkman. Hawkman needs a mace. I've got all the powers of a hawk and a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Carter Hall, I think, looks really good. I love the I love the detailing on the boots. Um, they could have they could have done what Migo did back in the day and just left them plain red, but they didn't. So I'm very happy that they put the detailing on that. A little claw design, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's much needed and appreciated. Uh, the only thing for me that's short, that's uh, that's coming up short is I don't like the wings. I don't like the design. Uh, I wish they would have, I wish they'd have done something different, more of a plastic mold. They're uh, very flappy, especially like um, under our fan here. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't like the design. So I will be replacing those wings and doing something totally different. I will you be customizing like that. Wings? Yes. Mm. I already have some actually in hand. I just haven't had the chance to do it yet. So I will be changing that up. But kudos to uh, what appears to be a lot like the Superpowers um, 1980s Hawkman sculpt. It, it's a really good sculpt for the, for the figure. I, I, I could not be happier about the sculpt. Also, we have the Super Friends Black Manta, which is not a new figure. It was, it's been released some time ago, but I now own it. Um, I had the, I had the uh, Mattel Retro Black Manta, but now I have the official Super Friends um, cartoon Black Manta, which I'm very pleased to have. I, I, I really like it. I think it's cool. And uh, last but not least, we have <laughs> we, we have um, the attorney at law. Burn Man! <laughs> yes. I uh, have to step back from my microphone. Again. I know. This, this is cool. Birdman, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping... This series will be extended and release other characters. Um, they are doing um, so a couple of others, but they but we don't know if how long the line will go. I reject that figure. Why do you reject it? Because he does not have his true power. The power of attorney. <laughs> now, and until, Jason wonders why we're trying to get him off of these shows. Until we get the suit wearing Birdman. You can you can get rid of that. It's coming. That's my prediction. Okay. It's coming. You FTC's... know, I've learned to not question Bryce's predictions anymore. <laughs> Damn, he was right. <laughs> and we'll get into that. We will get into that for sure. Yeah, I, uh, FTC loves his loves their variants, so I'm we are going to get. I honestly love uh, like the FTC over Mego. Honestly, I love their head sculpts better. Well, they do cost more. Of course. Uh, but, you know, you got more licensing involved sometimes with some of these characters. 
is DC and Warner Brothers aren't cheap. Uh, neither is Hanna Barbera, but FTC hits a home run with all these Hanna Barbera figures, whether it's Birdman or the Galaxy Trio or the Super Friends or the Scooby Doo. They're, they're all great. I love them all. So kudos to FTC. Job well done. And I'm very happy with my FTC Christmas goodies that I got under my tree. Cool. Is that it for uh, acquisitions? That's it for my acquisitions. All right. Thank you, Santa Claus. Uh, Nate, if you could uh, finish off with the Spider-Man wave so I can just move into mine then. Got it. Got Ooh. it. So, I mean, I've got I've got tons of stuff clearly on the table as well. Jason and I, like always, do cross-gather, I guess you could say. We get, we get the same stuff uh, with some few exceptions here and there. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the one that's clearly the odd man out, but clearly one of the better ones is we fi- I finally found the three-quarter inch Peely made by jazzware so my banana family is complete i know beat me on all of them i now I hate have the so Mc, much i have the mcfarland i have the jazzware six inch and i have the three quarter inch i actually found the pop version of peely as well but i decided to pass on that one for the There's time no being i i buy pops but there, i couldn't i couldn't get myself to buy a Fortnite pop like i'm buying Fortnite figures you can't get me to get everything so i went ahead and i did pick up the three quarter inch peely it, it's adorable. It's exactly what I thought. And it's the first three quarter inch figure I've bought in a while. So that, that says a whole lot. And I'll, we'll get back to that here in a little bit. I'm too. actually interested in that figure myself. It's a, it's good to have a big family of bananas. That's, I can tell you that much. Now, <laughs> uh, other things that I finally got, we finally got a hold of the NECA Terminator six inch uh dark fate figures so we got where'd you procure yours from so i got mine from dallas vintage toys okay. they, they sell them when it comes to those type of figures they sell them around the same price as right. they normally do on retail i will say that they are officially hitting shelves retail now as well i have found uh at least the t800 at targets huh. um at certain neck areas this has been like i love these figures they look amazing they feel great my Sarahs are a little bit tight in some of the joints, but that's okay. Oh, I would I would rather have it tighter than too loose. I, and, I, I turn that arm and uh, that instant feeling of, uh-oh. I break this. <laughs> but I would rather have it too tight than too loose, so it works out. <laughs> it works out. <laughs> <laughs> the that's show. It. That's yep. it. In the show. <laughs> We're done. All right. See, season two was off to a good start. Oh, well. Canceled it. Well, we lasted all of uh, about 12 minutes there, boys. Demonetizing in three, <laughs> two, two, one. one. YouTube be merciful to us. Anyway. Uh, so we finally got, we did finally get them. And that says a lot because those figures were supposed to come out in September of 2018. And I waited and nothing showed up in September. It said it on their website. They said, yep, September is what it's going to be. And then I tried to message them and they said, oh, it's going to be a little while. Then they said October. And then they were like, you know what? It's going to be November because sometimes we push things out. I didn't grab these until the beginning of the year. They were like the first things I grabbed this year. And now that it's almost February, they're starting to hit shelves five months after an initial release date. They're not worth waiting that long, but I love Terminator. They're what, it's one of my favorite movie franchises. So, of course, I had to get them. But it's so sad knowing we're not going to get any of the other ones based off of how that perform the the movie performed, and that makes me upset because I would have loved to have the Rev Nine and I'll, move, uh, I'll just move on. And I honestly like that movie. I don't care. What it was a good movie. I it, liked it too. It even said like even if you look it up, most people liked the movie. I don't know why it didn't perform well, but we move on. Uh, now we officially go into uh, let's let's go McFarlane since that's kind of where it went. I did go ahead and get, and even though he fell, and I know that we have different ways of shooting, I did find the McFarlane bloodshot figure for the new Vin Diesel movie that's coming out. Uh, I don't like it. I don't. Like, I'm glad I got it because it looks okay, but even with McFarlane's new articulation scheme, like, it, it's got some bad points to it. Like, the arms just won't go down. So he looks like he's ready to either fight or to get, like, a hug. Yeah. Like, I'm not quite sure what he wants. But it, it's not terrible. It's just not worth it. I'll say it this way. GameStop is charging $27 for this figure. I got it when they were doing a special, like, <laughs> yeah. I got it during a special promotion that they got. So I only paid $20 oh, like the a normal figure. Sale, yeah, so I managed to get it on sale. So I didn't have to pay the full price. If it had been normal price, I wouldn't have gotten it at all. His arms look like they go down to me. 
No, they uh, they don't go down to the side. Yeah, but, nobody sits with their arms like that. Yeah, us. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm not like this. Oh, okay, I, I sit. You know, I have my hands oh, okay. strictly against me. But you know, it's I'm I'm okay with having it. I'm okay if you get it. it. It's just not my favorite McFarlane, especially now that we have the new DC McFarlane wave is out. Uh, my thoughts are on it. My thoughts on it. I cannot speak. It's probably all the water that I got shot with. Oh, quit whining. That was that was like a week ago. Future episodes. <laughs> uh, the new DC McFarlane wave finally came out, and man, they dropped the images for those like the moment it turned to the new year, and I mean, Mattel wow. lost those license. That was like, quick. Them hit it, the it was, and they were supposed to come out. They're technically not out yet. Uh, some of the figures are supposed to be street dated and until yet they're here. Uh, on like the 19th, as I think when it's supposed to, be, supposed to be, but you can't find the whole wave yet, which is ridiculous. I passed on all the animated figures because they look good. They look like they came off the screen. They're just proportions are wonky in plastic form. So I'm not going to not going to go for them. I did pick up the Harley Quinn. I do not have it here. I have a love hate relationship with that figure, too, because I it, don't like that. Figure. <laughs> it's like they fused the animated stuff with the comic stuff and it. She has it, a fart face. It looks okay. I, I actually don't she mind it. She farted, silent but deadly, and she's laughing about it. Well, she's Harley I, Quinn, so that's okay. But <laughs> I, I'm okay with the figure itself, but I, I'm picking, I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do, which was pick and choose. Um, so I bought Batman today, actually. Uh, Target tried to not sell it to me, so they gave me gift cards, and then I went to Walmart, and they sold it to me. So, I mean, no big deal. So, but I got Batman and you, you got to get Batman when you're getting any of them. Batman is by far not my favorite character in the DC universe, but if you're going to buy DC figures, you have to at least own one Batman and it it's okay. It's proportions are wonky. It, they feel like McFarlane figures. I'll say it that way. They don't feel like Hasbro's type of plastic. It's not necessarily a good thing. They feel like McFarlane figures. They move like McFarlane figures. They're not all bad. The Superman is phenomenal, in my opinion. I think that Superman looks great. The proportions are awesome. The cape looks awesome. Yeah. Like Superman is one of my favorites for toy wise. They even came with a flight stand on it so you could pose him in a flight pose. Why are you really doing cool. that today? I forgot the flight stand. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> so we have the flight stand and like I, I honestly do love this superman so it's it's a good solid figure i'm still looking for green arrow i'm still looking for nightwing but to be honest those are probably the last two i'm going to pick up in this entire first wave um it i mean i i like them they're they're okay but like i said they're mcfarlane and i'll talk more about mcfarlane later but if we move over into dc still i finally got the amazing yamaguchi revel tech harley quinn and i gotta say i love this figure i gotta take a closer look at that one. like this harley quinn is amazing i pre-ordered this thing the moment it, its solicitations went up i have never owned an amazing yamaguchi figure in my life so i figured this looked good enough that i wanted to go ahead and give it a try so i put the money down for amazing yamaguchi and they did not disappoint if all of the figures are like this i cannot wait for the my hero academia figures her, to come out her eyeballs are posable so yes so what it is is they all of the amazing yamaguchi figures come with this little tool that when you take the head off it sticks into the eyes in the back and you can adjust them to go wherever you want them to look that is uh that is changing the game it's it's great We've seen it with a couple of figures it, it bothers me a little bit but only because i'm a perfectionist when it comes to the eyes so i was sitting there forever going you're not looking you're not looking straight but apparently the my hero academia figures won't do that uh my hands are way too big to have the patience to do that by so, the way. with my hero academia apparently they're gonna just come with separate eyes that yeah. you can take out but i will say that when i got that figure and i opened it up i sent you a picture of what it looked like it and i was like why dumb. is she cockeyed <laughs> yeah it looks stupid but then i got it out and i was like this this poses really well plus the effects with the that are on the hammer that says boosh it's like this is great it I, is. I do love this yeah. figure so i'm excited i i will not be collecting every amazing yamaguchi obviously this isn't going to be like oh i found a new addiction i gotta get it but i i have respect and i'm happy i picked this one up uh if we go into hasbro which is now our shared area uh i did find i did find both waves the new waves that were supposed to come out so i got <laughs> i pre-ordered the spider-man wave and that wave came in perfectly. I got it in. I loved it. It came with the two Spider-Mans, Vulture, Superior Spider-Man, 
uh, White Rabbit, which is very delicate. And it also came with, oh, who's the last one? Shang-Chi. Oh. That Shang-Chi is legitimately amazing. Uh, both waves suffer from the same problem of giving us a tiny, normal-sized figure as the Build-A-Figure. But unlike the Fantastic Four wave, this Demo Goblin is amazing. I love this figure. I do too. So um, I do like the Demo Goblin. Um, White Rabbit, I mean, it's a White Rabbit figure. Seriously. what? He did, came did, out of nowhere. Did not see that coming. The Shang-Chi is the best figure of the line. Followed I, up quickly I'll by agree. Vulture, who is the first figure to have liver spots. Yeah, I, I do like the Vulture. I, I know you don't like them, but I really like the Spider-Man in the entire I wave as well. I don't care about them. The Velocity Suit one is my favorite. Um, I love the game. The Velocity suit was an original idea, so if I can get more suits from the Spider-Man series than the sa- that are sculpted like this, because that's the big thing about this figure is it has a whole lot of sculpted detail into it that no Spider-Mans just kind of paint over. Like the first PS4 Spidey that we got, I wish they had sculpted this in. Here's my main problem with those two figures. They are different heights. Yes, they are. The That was the thing. I thought I was going to like the other Spider-Man more, but he's got... He's got some toy biz problems where it's just straight up and down like, and with the wide gap in the middle of the legs. Like, still not a bad figure. I love the webbing accessories that came with it. They're pretty good. Instead of giving us the standard webs, they gave us spider traps. Like, <laughs> So you could actually wrap it around the person and you can put one on the face like he just shot you in the face. I need that. Those are those are pretty solid. I, those are probably my new favorite accessories because of I love Spider-Man and th- that was brilliant. If you find any of those loose, please let me know. Um, I also did get the Fantastic Four Wave. I had that pre-ordered and everybody got their pre-orders and I didn't. But then I canceled my pre-order because I decided to go toy hunting for the first time in a while. And I actually found the wave after my, like, my third target that day, which was lucky because I was about to give up on toy hunting because I just don't have the time anymore. I have a new job. I'm ready to yeah. do some other stuff. But <clears throat> I, I like the new wave, but... I own most of these figures already, thanks to the Walgreens release that they did. And while I love that they did some new stuff, like they gave us a new thing with an alternate head, but the thing doesn't have the wash on it that the original one did. So it's just not as striking to me. Right. It's a good, solid figure, and I'm glad that this wasn't the this wasn't the builder figure because they could have totally gone that route, but they didn't. Uh, instead, you we wish got she was taller bigger no no uh most iterations of the thing don't generally have him as too overly large he's not like the hulk but he can fight with the hulk which i liked right mr fantastic's okay i have a small paint defect where only half of him is gray the other half looks like he's a younger man and the the fingers they gave mr fantastic were weird i don't i don't like that effect if like the thing is, is since it's the same body you can still pull off of hit, pull his arms off and swap them with the other arms, but because the costumes aren't the same color, they don't yeah. match. I don't know how much of a fan because I've actually passed up the Fantastic Four, mainly because I I spent a lot of money. But um, I love this way. Like I love the Fantastic Four in general. I did get Doom. The Doom is fantastic. The Doom is a phenomenal figure. I really like uh, it. Invisible Woman's the exact same. I like the idea of having a Johnny Storm as opposed to having just a normal Human Torch, which was cool. Uh, I kept the flame effects on him because it just makes more sense. The She-Hulk, I surprisingly liked more than I thought I was going to. Yeah, I think I kind of I need the She-Hulk. She-Hulk is solid, but Super Scroll, man, he was just as difficult to put together as the Demo Goblin was. I don't know why he was so difficult to put together. I, problems were. I had the problem with the legs and the head. They just didn't want to go on. The legs were my problem with this with the Super Scroll. And while I like the effects the Super Scroll came with. <clears throat> again too small of a figure like we were supposed to get this as another walgreens thing and we didn't but i mean i i do like it and if you put them side by side with the toy biz one the toy biz one looks like absolute garbage next to this one so i'm, I'm very happy with the with the wave overall like i said i love the fact that we have that dr doom now which by the way if you have the infamous dr doom and you have the von doom head that'll work oh cool so that's pretty neat um, I'm going to keep mine exactly like that, but I I mean, I loved it. It's I'm glad to have Marvel Legends again. I can't wait till March when we can get the MCU Black Widow wave. Does his weapon come out of the holster? Yes. yes. Okay. That's a tiny gun, as Cass was saying. So. But mm. Doom has never needed more. It's true. So right. um, up to mine, yeah, we did. Uh, we share that Spider-Man wave. I'll probably get the Fantastic World wave maybe a little bit later. Um, 
I'm most proud um, about the two Masterpiece Transformers I got. The green guy over there, that is Hound. He is now replacing a third-party Transformer that I had, uh, Make Toys Gundog. This is a far superior figure. Little light. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a little light, not a lot of die cast, but I like the feel of the figure. Uh, the transformation is good, and it looks good. It's got a very good profile. Also, the uh, yellow guy there, Sunstreaker. I passed up that guy when he first came out, and he sold out so quick. I'm glad they did a re-release of him. Jumped on that, was able to uh, procure him. And uh, officially, this puts me at every mainline Transformers masterpiece release that's not like a, a repaint or recolor or something. Except one. <laughs> I need one more. And granted, it's a repaint, but it is necessary. I have Starscream and I have Skywarp. Of course, they share a mold, but they share different colors. On the show, they were three different entities. I do not have Thundercracker. I need Thundercracker. Well, of course you do. To complete. And I, I'm just, I'm there. I'm almost there. So. Are you ooh, salivating? I'm a little bit. I didn't realize, like, I've got every mainline masterpiece release. It was funny because you were bragging about that when I first came over when we were recording a different show. You should watch that when it comes out, by the way. Nerds of Coffee Cool. Love it. But, like, you were talking about it, but then you were, I don't think, did you just realize that you were missing one? Yes. Like, because you went, <laughs> you looked at me dead in the face and went, I'm so sad that I have to move this other character off the shelf. But, you know, at least I now officially own every Transformer. And I was like, good for you, man. Good for you. And then and now <laughs> it was like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's all now that he's only one away. He's just itching. He's like, you know what so I mean? Now I, it's, it's, and, and this is not going to be easy. So we're, we're going to have to like, I'm going I'm to pop some bubbly when I get Thundercracker. <laughs> <laughs> that's Which also the worst, one of the worst names for transfer. We're just going. That's when he finds out he's actually missing two, and they're about to announce a new one. <laughs> yeah, right. That's okay. I, I, I can keep up now. Um, but also, I did get some custom stuff, and uh, one of the things I was always displeased about was the uh, the Marvel Legends Beast Head, the the strictly just roaring one. Well, uh, I did find an eBay seller. He goes by um, the Collector's Place on there. And he had some custom beast heads. And they actually sent three. They have removable glasses. I'm just going to show that off for the camera there. More of that um, 90s cartoon look beast, which I'm fine with. But yeah, this was a necessary release instead of the... And it's a little bit off color, as Nier was saying, considering with the, uh, the roaring face from Beast. Let me get up. From it, here, it, it looks really good. That's the thing, though. Like that's what I pointed out to him is while they d the colors don't match, when you have him on the shelf, you can't see a difference. No, like from no, I can't see from, it from, from here. here. You cannot see that they're up two close, different shades. Be able to tell. You, right. you could tell up close. And the other thing, I got some custom weaponry. Uh, a um, seller that I've used before, uh, Lysloan, on eBay. He has uh, a new weapons pack out, and I thought. Because the one thing about Marvel Legends, they reuse guns all the time. Good God. And they're not even like realistic guns. They're this just... one um, was his latest mold. And I thought it was perfect to give to Deadpool. Got a scope. It's a nice BFG. That is. I like that. He also has a, another original mold, this kind of futuristic shotgun kind of thing. Let me get up there. And granted, these are all like 3D printed, but some of them are original design. He's actually got uh, Falcon's guns here. With a silencer on there, but if you really, if I really wanted to, I could cut that silencer off, and there's Falcon's gun. So, yeah, got uh, a little bit of custom stuff. Hey, I dig it, man. The best pickup that I've had, and it trumps all of your pickups. None of you will even. None of your collections this week compare. It's the My Hero Academia variant. Oh my! Yeah, Shut your <laughs> dirty poor mouth. Anyway. <laughs> It is the seven inch NECA Bob Ross. I love this figure. I found it in a local comic shop, which I won't name because I think they kind of overblow the prices a bit, but it was yeah. at cost. You can find them at Targets now, by the way, too. This is before they were, I didn't see them I, at Targets. I, I'm just saying you can find them now. But uh, this is a great figure with the easel. I'm happy to have it. The clothing looks good on the guy. And the, there's, a, there's a little detail on there that Bryce and I noticed. Um, we were filming uh, our run-through for SNS Live, but his left hand 
the pointer finger is shorter than all of his other fingers. And we noticed it at first, is that a defect? But it was molded. Molded that way, because that's the way he is in real we life. We looked it up. I did not know that he was missing mm -hmm. part of his pointer yeah, finger. That's right. And he always hit it on the show. Mm -hmm. So that was an interesting detail for NECA to throw in there. Way to go, NECA. I don't. I, I want to say that's not on purpose, but I want to. But you never know. It's true. I think it is on purpose. I think that you know. Hey, let's. But it's a great figure. I love the accessories that comes with the brushes, the easel, and everything. So yeah, you should all get Bob Ross. That's all gonna, there is to it. I'm gonna pass. Go to pass. Whatever. Bryce, I know that. By the way, of, that's, that's an eight inch figure. You, you label it as a seven inch figure, but it's actually eight inch. It's it's exactly the same size as Mego and FTC. Well, well, I guess Bryce is going to look for one of those. Yeah, because he, it's it's the same body basically that you see used on Snake Plissken or or uh, any of the other NECA Halloween uh, or horror releases that they that they generally put uh -huh. out. It's the same body. Yeah, and with that, okay, so that completes my acquisitions, but I. Would like to at this point recognize our friend Bryce. And do you, this do you have some crow real quick that we can eat? I already had mine before the show. So, uh, Bryce, I, I certainly hope this is on your list this week. It most certainly is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Let's we'll start with well, Bryce. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, let's start it up. My, my prediction that Betty White would get a figure before her 98th <laughs> birthday came <laughs> true. <laughs> came true. So, so there you go, America. And all foreign territories. Stop dicking around and get to it. <laughs> you jerk. I'm just mad he was right again. <laughs> well, death has come to your little town, Sheriff. Guess what? Not only is Michael Myers coming from NECA, but Laurie Strode. Which I have been asking for for six months. months or nine months or maybe longer. Man, and there's several episodes where Jason and I say with absolute confidence that'll never happen. Oh, man. And I even said in one of our last episodes, if not the last episode of, of 2019, I said, it's coming oh. in 2020. <laughs> it's coming in 2020. Which is funny because you said that as a joke. And I know you said it as a joke. No, I figured but... it was coming. Oh wait, what's the good, end of the joke? The, I had a good the worst feeling. part is is I know that this is your news segment, but I, I was the one who found the post first. And I found the post while oh, I was God, at, at oh. a job and I was like, no. <laughs> and then I I saved it, I sent it to us, and I was like, we got Bryce, I'm sorry. <laughs> just Yeah, I answered, I was like, you got it. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for Bryce's response. I was like, is he going to grill us on it? Is he going to gloat? What's going to happen? I didn't even bother gloating because I was so thrilled. I was oh, yeah, overcome with joy. He had a little bit of fan for coming in there. Anyway. <laughs> I was so excited. All right. Tell us about these, though. Cause... Yeah. Oh, geez. I mean, you you, you want to talk about um, somehow doing the great work around. NECA managed to somehow afford the license for Halloween retro cloth by buying the Halloween two uh, licenses from, from the looks of those characters, Dr. Loomis, <clears throat> which I hadn't mentioned is, which is another great score for NECA, uh, Laurie Strode. You've got, you've got Jamie, you've got Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance and they look fantastic. I don't like the choice of clothing on Laurie. Well, that's what you get because that's what the way she was dressed in Halloween too. Okay. That so you're gonna have to customize it as you see fit if you want to have her as the babysitter, you know, from and the first Halloween. If film. we found out anything from just even me finding custom clothing to make my figure, yeah, I can. It, it you can do it. I get it, and I figured that was gonna be one of the things that Bryce was gonna complain about too was the fact that he's not getting that. But you're right. In that movie, she was dressed like that the entire movie. Yeah, that's all. That's all you're gonna get. And I'm. I, I am perfectly okay with that because it's an affordable figure and I'm finally getting my wish. And this of is a two pack. Jamie Lee Curtis. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Loomis and Strode is a two pack. And Distinctive Dummies did a custom Dr. Loomis many years ago that I own. But I, I think this version triumphs the Distinctive Dummies version. So I'm very happy to get this Loomis and Strode. This is going to make so many 
horror fans, Halloween fans happy. And I, and I'm, I am one of them. I am certainly one of them. So thank you, NECA. And thank you, uh, to, um, whoever owns Halloween too the rights to the, to the, to those likenesses. Kudos. Yes. Well done. And the great thing about the Michael Myers figure, which I haven't even mentioned from Halloween two, which differs from the Halloween Michael Myers figure that we're, that we already have on shelves from the 2018 film. Uh, this Michael Myers has an alternate head. So you've got Roll the credits. bloody, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said roll credits. Oh, <laughs> he said the title of the show. Yay! Yeah. Right. <laughs> so it, it's, you know, you've got the bloody and non-bloody version. It's, and you've got the accessories. You've got uh, f- four different weapons, a scalpel. Uh, you've got the knife. You've got the hammer. Uh, and you've also got the syringe. So th- these these figures, uh, Christmas is coming early for me. When, the, when these are released, I believe they're coming in May. Uh, and the good thing is they're not, they're not overcharging you. These are these basically come in at regular price, I like the regular felt figures. That NECA's price point is fine. Yeah, they're they're pretty they're they're pretty average for. Yeah, my only concern with getting a Jamie Lee Curtis figure in 2020, when I was thinking about this, you know, in years prior and especially last year, I thought we might get charged a little bit more based on the licensing, but that's not the case. So it's fantastic. Yeah, I think the only figure from them, especially the retro cloth ones that I thought were too, a little outrageous, was the trick or treat figure. But I mean, then you found yours at a <laughs> at a discount at a discount, so it worked yeah. out really well. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. Okay. So keeping with uh, the NECA theme, let's go with the um, the 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 Rhino figure that is basically a tribute to the Kenner line. I love those. Yeah. So they show they showed packaging and out of packaging uh, profile of the Rhino. NECA did uh, in late December, and this this looks pretty cool. I like I like the look of the Rhino. I don't do a lot of the Kenner tribute figures, but this one looks different enough that I might be wanting to get this. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I know it's coming out this year. On to, uh, let's let's go to the. You're getting that rhino figure, by the way, aren't you? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I really want to see that one in hand. Yeah, I'm hoping to get that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so Neca, uh, just yesterday uh, announced the Ultimate Alpha Predator 100th Edition figure. Well, didn't announce it, but showed pictures. Ooh, I should boy. say. And wow. Is this impressive? This is the 100th Predator figure. And this is an original design and concept by NECA, the Alpha Predator. So, wow. Give me this movie. Right? Uh, It's an homage to the original 1987 Predator film design. Uh, It's going to be 30 points of articulation. Entirely new sculpt with removable mask hook gauntlets that and three mask. pairs of interchangeable hands i know also i like that his weapons seem very organic. barbaric huh i was gonna go with barbaric yeah like he doesn't he doesn't seem to have the same tech that the right. other predators are using like, right is this like you know predators of the old republic or something here you know it's amazing yeah and and by the way the artwork is going to be done by jason Edmist- edmiston who uh, has done a lot of horror artwork for Mondo and NECA. And I forgot to mention that he also did the packaging that's coming. And and I sent you a picture in the chat of the Michael Myers packaging that's coming in May, which is really awesome. So I sent that in the chat. So with the, um, with the wrist blades, the staff and the shuriken, this reimagined predator looks like a lot of fun. That's coming in June. Very happy that, that they decided to to do this figure because it looks very menacing. I love the bones. Yeah. Love love the 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 low tech like you mentioned. Okay, moving on to something else that uh NECA does a lot of 
variants of, but I still very much enjoy, would be the ultimate flasher gremlin. This, this is one of my favorite favorite gremlins that I've seen them release. Uh, you've, Once again, this show is not for kids under the age of thirteen. I, I love that, and he's got the cigarette in his teeth. Right? <laughs> yeah. I I think this figure is a lot of fun. Between the between the visor and the mallet and the puppet and the beer, I don't know. This this figure has a lot going for it. The bow tie. Um, I feel bad for Gremlins collectors. They have to be, they have to be figure builders, you know, like army builders. I mean, right? Yes, yeah. There's, there's a, there, there are a lot of them. I don't know how, how many. Not just. Uh. Yeah. Once again, I want to uh, sh- do a shout out to Jason Edmiston, great artist. He's doing the uh, new artwork for this package as well. I really like Jason's artwork. Um. Well, and other than that, I guess we can shift gears to FTC. And FTC is doing uh, a variant. Speaking of variants, we came from the Gremlins. Now we'll do. Uh, we'll talk about the Hanna Barbera Scooby Doo variants. Variants uh, from that Snow Ghost. You've got a new Velma in winter clothing, uh, and also the. Shaggy in his festive winter clothing uh, variant with um, earmuffs. So that's kind of cool for, uh, so, you know, you can better build your Christmas display at the home. The Velma hair seems off. Yeah, like, this it, is a good looking figure. It's a cute figure, but it doesn't look like Velma. Well, I mean, it's... The it's fa- I think it's just the hair. You think it's too long or... Yeah, it looks a little too long. Maybe that's it. It's yeah. just not a good translation from screen to plastic it looks good like that, it, i'll give it that it looks like good. it honestly does look good but that's what's throwing you off is just be, like if you look at the shaggy one you have the clear definition lines oh, yeah. that they have drawing on them right velma's while they're there they're not there be, like they were drawn they were sculpted in mm. so that's what it looks like is it looks like it's trying too hard to be realistic instead of cartoony okay. and that's why velma looks different well i'm hoping it looks better in hand i mean it but, looks good there but i like it I, I i think i'd be happy with it um so uh, two new uh, reveals by FTC that they are going to be uh, developing and releasing sometime. We don't know when exactly. It's just, you know, production art right now that they're going to be putting into a manufacturing process. They've got John Constantine, uh, which it's going to be his first ever retro action figure. FTC just uh, released that information on Friday which we taped this on Saturday. So that was yesterday. And that was, so um, really all FTC has to do is to come up with a sculpt for that because they have the clothing already. Um, And then also since CW did the crisis on infinite earths crossover, it makes perfect sense. I don't, I, I don't know if it's, if it was synchronized for, for that, but it probably was FTC is going to be making the monitor from the classic Marv Wolfman, George Perez run on DC Comics. So we're going to get not the CW version, but the comic book version from the 80s of the Monitor. And I'm happy that this is being made because that was a a, a landmark comic book event. It was. Yep. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm hoping that they do more figures from that uh, particular miniseries because it was so important to DC comics. And if I know the people at uh, FTC, like I think, like I think I do, who are big fans of the seventies and eighties versions of DC characters, I have no doubt we'll be seeing more versions of comic book characters. FTC, please don't give him more to hold over our heads. Thank you. We're, <laughs> we're going to get more. That's, that's my prediction. I can't say. I'm just going to be sure. ambiguous with my answers. Like that may never come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys owe me an apology for Lori Strode. Oh, sure, you'll get it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> still waiting. I guess. Uh, uh, do you want to go, or do you want me to go? Um, you can go. Okay. For the, view- um, for the viewers at home, I'm still waiting. So we got a lot of news. We tried not to go too far back because I mean, toy news is always going to happen every week, but. 
we got a few things coming. We'll start with a thousand toys. A thousand toys went ahead and showed off Ape Sapien from pre-order. Hellboy. At pre-order. Pre- pre-order is up. Uh, you can get it at most places. But if I'm not mistaken, I want to say... I, I don't remember which one it was. I want to say it was Big Bad Toy Store. But you can officially get a two-pack of either both Hellboy and Ape Sapien. Or I think you can get a two-pack of Rasputin and Ape Sapien. The problem with... Rasputin is it's exactly what we thought, where it's a really pretty traffic cone where there's basically no movement, which I guess is fine per se. I mean, it, if I'm being honest, if I had these figures posed on shelves, I would probably pose Rasputin the same way that they're giving them to me, but that gives me a lack of option to pose him. Like, well, it's not going to be much of an option anymore because they are officially sold out. Well, doesn't matter. I didn't pre order mine, so I'll just cry in a corner later. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get it. Oh, probably. It'll show up somewhere. Um, but, I mean, that's the looks good great. thing. Is Ape Sapien looks good. Not much more I can say about it. We've seen it a while, but the fact, the big news there was that you could get it with Rasputin. Uh, there are a few things that also came out that we have a good look at. One thing that I did pre-order is the new Mezco Spider-Man Far From Home Night Monkey, or still suit <laughs> Spider-Man. Uh, looks really good. I own the Homecoming version, and I'm on a wait list for Far From Home's upgraded suit, but this one looks really good. I really liked the stealth suit. It was a very good-looking suit, especially for what it was, and that Tom Holland head looks really good. Yeah. So I did join the pre-order list for that one. I'm very excited. I can't wait to get that, but I don't think it comes out until like later this year. I want to say May or June, something like that. But So we've got a bit to go, but it looks really good, and the... This is one of those things where Mezcos are basically the only like cloth good figures that I own. And now that I'm getting a new display case, it's definitely the option for now where I can put more Mezcos on there. So I'm excited about this new one. Uh, we did finally get some more announcements. If we want to stick with the Mezco front, we are getting a... And it's sold out. You've lost your chance Ooh, if you wanted it. But we are getting the Batman 1989 edition Michael Keaton which looks good. It, it did look good. I didn't go for it. Um, I heard there were a lot of site problems where like missed payments or PayPal issues or people having pre-ordered it and then it got canceled somehow. But yeah, it's you look, you look very upset. It costs too much money. It does. It runs for $110. And I don't want to say on that hot cup on this one. It, it's got a lot to go with it. We, can, we most likely think that it's going to get the bigger... The bigger price point because of both the likeness from the actor mixed with that it has interchangeable face plates uh so i think you can change out the the really, mouth pieces just interchangeable heads on here it may be I, that's i may have heard wrong but you get a ton of accessories obviously tons of hands you get the stand a bunch of batarangs and different gadgets you get so the spear gun it, um with the hook um collapsed gauntlet and time bomb uh, but it is sold out. Uh, so, I mean, if you still want it, you can try to be on that wait list and hope to get it. But I didn't go for it. <laughs> I don't get a whole lot of Mezcos, and that's not one that I was exactly hoping Ooh. to own. It's disappointing. It's that it costs that much. Uh, maybe I'll wait for the Beetlejuice one. Uh, Storm Collectibles did come forward and show another Mortal Kombat figure. I did not play a lot of Mortal Kombat as a kid. Uh, basically none. So I, I know certain characters, but I don't know a lot of them. But they did go ahead and show that they are making a Raiden figure, which looks great. McFarlane came out a while back and started showing their Raiden, which I don't like the way it looks. Well, considering you've gotten some of the other McFarlane. More I got years. Sub-Zero and I got Scorpion. And I'm not huge fans of the McFarlane versions of McFarlane, uh, of Mortal Kombat figures. I won't be collecting any more of that line. Storm collectibles are expensive. That said, I did pre-order my first Storm collectible and it was Sub-Zero. Uh, so hopefully whenever that comes in in a couple months, that would be really cool. But that was the first one I get, uh, that I got hoping to try those out, but you're right. Storm collectibles are expensive. They're like 80, $90, but this Raiden looks really good. And the best part about the storm collectible figures is you get a lot of mortal Kombat esque death parts that come with it that excuse are really me, cool. Excuse me. They're called fatalities, I, sir. I, they're death it doesn't matter the they have a lot of cool, they have a lot of cool pieces to them that i really like but you know i probably won't pose my figures that way i was just robbing someone of a comment after the show. <laughs> in the comments below <laughs> but Raiden looks cool it 
like I said, I don't know a whole lot. Sub Zero was always my favorite because I was that vanilla generic kind of guy that liked playing the ice guy. But Raiden looks really good, and I might have to go for that one too. But I'm I'm unsure. Uh, we'll see how it goes. He looks like he stepped right off the soundstage from Big Trouble in Little China. That was one of the big things, though, is like Ooh. McFarlane's figures, while they're hit or miss, the Raiden outfit they picked does not go <laughs> coincide with what I usually think of Raiden. This is what I usually think when someone says Raiden. So, I mean, that's a pretty big deal to me. Uh, so I'm excited for whenever my Storm Collectibles comes in. Um, I'll take your effects pieces if you're not going to use them. <laughs> uh, the next pieces that came out is we finally got our first look at Hasbro's 40th uh, anniversary Empire Strikes Back figures. Uh, it's a lot of reuse. It's a lot of stuff that we already knew was coming because of the fact that that's what these are for. These are for people that missed out on them the first time around they came out or they wanted some like they liked the carded back. So it looks like we're getting Yoda. We are getting the at at driver. I did say at at. I stick by that, uh, which is the one I'll probably pick up. We are getting Bespin Luke, Bespin Han, and Bespin Leia. So stuff that we've seen a lot. I will probably only be picking up Luke and the at at driver. But I think Dagobah Luke is coming Just out too. Every word enrages me. It's an AT AT, you <laughs> bastard. No, no, the machine is AT AT. I call this one at at. <laughs> so i'll be picking up those two figures but i think that's the only thing that we haven't seen um but this was this picture was found by somebody i don't remember who it was but this was something overseas which probably means that they're getting close to on their way i bet around march is when we'll probably see these i'm just gonna get the yoda and de-age it so i can pose him next to my mandalorian <laughs> i kind of want the yoda because of that yoda you know does not look as good. <laughs> I mean, the Yoda does have updated fray sprint technology, but we've gotten so many Yodas. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pass on that one. I'm gonna pass too. Actually. Um, if we stick with good old fashioned Hasbro, we'll go ahead and move on to the new Black Widow Deluxe that was announced. Oh boy! So I uh, we talked about this a while back, where we made our guess of what was going to be in the Black Widow wave. Mm -hmm. I called it the entire wave. <laughs> Except for the build a figure, uh, I we never talked about it, so I will go ahead and give a brief mention that the Black Widow wave will be Black Widow in her black outfit, her sister, who's played by Florence Pugh. I don't remember the name of that character, and let me try to guess. Uh, MCU Red Guardian, MCU Taskmaster. We do get the comic version of Winter Soldier, Crossbones, and Spy Master with a build a figure Crimson Dynamo, which will probably be at the bottom of my build a figure 2020 list because it's basically like the Kree Sentry, and I didn't want it. But those will come out around March, but this went up for pre-order yesterday. So we film on Saturdays. So this is, it was, came up on Friday. Um, the show's now come out on Tuesdays, but this particular figure is only $30. So it's still the standard 20 that you would normally get, but then you're getting a stand. You're getting a I bunch like of effect stand. pieces. I love the stand. Yeah. The stand's cool. I love all the effect pieces that comes with. I'm mm -hmm. looking very forward to having the, the bracer pieces that'll make it look like she's shooting. Cause I can put that with multiple black widows if, because I can only do like one, but they, they're, they're really neat. I, and I'm very excited. I've already got mine pre-ordered. Uh, I'm very excited for this movie. It's really good on this it one. It does. Mm -hmm. Especially considering the other ones they showed us for that previous black widow, uh, that black Not widow wave. Good. I'm hoping it'll get improved because if this is what that way uh, that head sculpt looks like here, I'm hoping they'll fix the other ones. Yeah, this that looks really good. That's a really good likeness of Scarlet. I'm all all in on that one. Yeah, I, I pre-ordered and I'm ready to go. Uh, if we move on to more Hasbro, we of course got our official first look at Wave Four of the Lightning Collection, which is going to of course composed of SPD Red Ranger. Uh, Zio Blue Ranger, Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger, and S uh, Beast Morpher Cyber Villain Blaze, uh, I, which I, only further confirms the a little list. bit of contention on some of these. Um, of course, that head uh, does not look like Steve Cardenas. Uh, mm -hmm. Zio Blue does not look like him. He's even commented, "You really missed the likeness on this for me." Um, so yeah, totally doesn't look like him. The uh, SPD Red, the V, the helmet is off. The helmet is off, and the fandom hates it. I know. I see you. I see your comments on Reddit. The V goes down a little bit too far, which I looked at. It was like small thing. Apparently, not a small thing to most Power Ranger collectors. My my thing is, is I don't pose them with the helmet off anyway. 
like I they're, if they're Power Rangers, they're going to be on the shelf as Power Rangers. Right. But like I'm, I'm very excited for this because, like I said before, this wave did a whole 180 on me where I went from I'm only going to pick up the original team to have to get them all. So I'm very excited for this next wave of Power Ranger figures. I'm happy to get a two figure. Yeah, it's I'm very excited. We missed your two each rank. I'm glad you're getting a fan. Now we just need to know the uh, we we've, we've already got confirmation of what wave five is supposed to be as well. If I'm not mistaken, it's Ranger Slayer, um, Time Force Red, Time Force Red, Mighty Morphin Blue, and then Zeo Gold. Right. Uh, which I mean, I can just pass on Zeo Gold because I already have the Zeo Gold. I gotta get one with a correct foot. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I honestly forgot that one of my feet is on wrong. So. That we have the, the we have fit, the right we, we have, have the right, the right feet between all of us. We just keep forgetting, and I just haven't come to do the custom swap yet. I'll do it the next time I'm here. Okay. Um, but <laughs> I'm I'm very excited for this wave. Um, so that should come out end of February, early March, something like that. So I'm thinking I'm thinking mid February we're gonna start seeing. Yeah, and then we should have wave five later this year. Um, I don't have any pictures for the next topic that I was going to talk about, which is the new. We recently got an interview by JC for the, uh, by Todd McFarlane on upcoming stuff that we're supposed to be getting. It was an hour long. I watched the whole thing. <clears throat> um, there's some cool stuff that's supposed to be on their way. It gives us updates on certain lines that are McFarlane was messing with. Um, if we start off with DC, DC, the first thing that we wanted to know is if they because they said that they were going to do anything from six inch to nine inch figures. But it looks like they're going to definitely be staying within the seven inch realm. That's their comfort zone. I'm very disappointed in that. They really should have gone six inch because that's what collectors were asking for. And they made a really huge deal about I that we want to listen to what the fans want. So they're going to give us a little bit of everything from animated stuff to other versions of animated figures to CW to movie to comic book. They're going to keep picking and choosing based off what fans want. To the point where I think that starting with wave two or three, they're going to start running polls and you will vote for what McFarlane figures you want them to make for DC um, or whatever DC figures for McFarlane. Uh, so that's pretty cool that they're they're really interested in that. Like I said, I'm not very happy with the seven inch line, especially with figures like how I have this All Might for scale. The it's They're taller than All Might is and that just seems wrong. But I wish that they had done six inch. I wish that they used a different form of plastic, but they're they're in their comfort zone. They're not going to get out of it. We just have to deal with it because that's what we're getting for DC. That's just what we have to deal with. Do you predict failure? No. Cancellation, uh, I mean. No. Oh. I, I, see, I see McFarlane with it listening to fans. I see that it's going to really split the the fan base because you're like me. I'm I'm sitting here complaining that I don't have six inch figures and I have seven inch that won't match any of my other stuff. And yet here I am buying them still. It's you, if you give me what I want, I'm still going to buy it, but I'm not happy about it. So we'll find out with probably within the next two to three years. I guarantee you McFarlane's got a pretty tight handle on a lot of their DC stuff for now. Um, they have a lot in the work. Apparently, I don't like the the vehicles that they tried to do because I'm I'm, I'm not even going to try to complete those because I didn't. When I ask for builder figures, I'm not asking for Hot Wheels. Okay, I'm asking for actual figures, and McFarland's not comfortable doing that, and I I don't see them ever changing that. Mm. <coughs> so they had gone six inch, but no, no, they didn't. They, didn't. they decided they wanted to go full on seven inch, and that's just where they're going to stay. Still disappointed, but we move on. Uh, they updated us on other brands. So things like Harry Potter are supposed to be on their way. Uh, Harry Potter, they are still making other figures for it because of, I guess, popular demand. I think they've got some in production. Uh, One Punch Man appears to be canceled. They are not going to continue with One Punch. Uh, fans aren't super asking for them. So we got that Saitama figure, and it looks like that's the only one we're going to be getting from that. My Hero Academia is, of course, still going. They have already announced Wave 2, which is going to be Tenya Ida, Kirishima, Ochako, and Todoroki, which is a little disappointing because I was expecting another teacher like Aizawa, but we didn't get that. But those will probably be seen around Toy Fair. Uh, so My Hero Academia is still a go. Game of Thrones figures look like they're going to be canceled as well. Uh, yeah. like I was excited. I liked the Game of Thrones figures as well, but the diet with the series being over and the whole backlash with the last season, as much as they want to continue it, because they want to give us more figures from Game of Thrones that 
they just don't see retailers asking for it and they don't want to just make them just to have them on their website. They want to, they're very excited about being in retailers, so they don't have any real intention of moving them forward. So Game of Thrones looks like it's going to be canceled as well. Uh, God, what are some of the, what are, what are some of the other ones that they had going for them? Um, we had DC, it eh, doesn't really matter. Uh, they are bringing back Spawn. Spawn is on its way. They will be making some seven inch Spawn figures with the new articulation scheme. So especially because of the movie, they're very excited about the movie. So they're very excited to bring us back some Spawn figures. Yeah, so those are on the way. I've been about this movie for quite some time. I'm, I'm... Yeah, apparently they have some announcements coming up later this year sure. that they're excited about. But other than that, it doesn't look too crazy but they it does look like they are going to bring back spawn figures so those are on their way um of course they're going to continue with fortnite because that's doing extremely well for everybody else um but that's that's really about it on the mcfarland update side when it comes to other lines that were continuing that people kind of asked about but didn't know anything more about they're they've got stuff in the works they just don't know what to what to kind of go with but if we are talking about stuff that we are that fans have been asking about that we're excited for let's switch right on back to hasbro for gi joe jason you shut your mouth this is my story (laughs) why do you think i saved it for last so we could both talk about it so um the snake eyes movie is starting to filming in japan right now we've gotten the reveal of the cast very excited so ready for gi Joe. snake eyes it's gi joe origins and the first one is snake eyes uh but with that, it's a movie line. People have been wanting G.I. Joe's for quite some time, and nothing's been heard. They've been off the shelves for a while. Man. The, and I said, if they make six-inch figures, who boy, look out, because there is a rumor. This is a rumor. This is still strictly... No, rumor. it's not a rumor anymore. Since for, when? It's... Uh, they have not officially confirmed this information. They have No, another retailer did, who apparently had the, the list. Uh, still not confirmation from Hasbro. Which I fully expect. When is Toy Fair? Exactly. In about a month. Though. So the rumored class, it's GI Joe classified. It's supposed to be the name of the line. Wave one will include Snake Eyes, Destro, Duke, Scarlet, and Roadblock. So I fully expect uh, in February, towards the end of February, we will see this line at Toy Fair. So the thing about these figures from what I have been told is that while those are what's supposed to come out. Who told you so? Again, do I, do you not read anything <laughs> online anymore? <laughs> Mr. You, you, get, you gave me a hard time about the My Hero Amazing Yamaguchi figures. I'm going to give you a hard time about G.I. Joe's. There, Snake Eyes is coming two to a pack. Yeah, uh, I see, yeah it's, it's, But apparently they're going to be two different versions of Snake Eyes. So what I can only guess is if that's the case, they're either going to go movie version and classic version, or they might just do like a variant of one of them. But here's what, here's what I do to y'all all all the time. But Hey, Hey Jason, give me your money. (laughs) Give me your money. Jason. (laughs) You might be able to save some of your, some of your money because I heard they were coming out a 12 inch size and they're going to be flocked. You're right. I will save some money by not buying those. (laughs) So I I mentioned this earlier where I said that I had stopped collecting three quarter inch figures. I used to own GI Joe three quarter inch figures. Like you saw, I got all, I had tons of them and I sold all of them because, you know, they were taking up space. I didn't display three quarter inch. It made me very sad, but it was a decision that I had to do. No, I didn't sell them. I gave them away to a battered woman shelter for kids. So they went on. They went That's on. That's where a lot of my toys go. Nice. Yeah. So I, I either sell them or I give them away to kids that I feel like will actually appreciate them. So I gave mine away, and I was so sad because I I really wanted six inch versions, How'd especially you feel when you saw mine. By the way, uh, it brought a little little joy to me because I miss having GI Joe figures. Like I don't. I didn't watch the cartoon or anything. I just owned the figures and I loved them. So having six inch, especially by Hasbro makes me so excited because i will own all of them now see the thing about gi joe and one of the the appeal of gi joe was always the vehicles we are not going to get those vehicles no we won't in a six inch scale we're not going to get a sky striker look look at me look at me you will not get a sky striker if has won't get it all you won't get a hiss tank you might get some pinto or sled a lot of the one person vehicles 
Hasbro doesn't like to give vehicles for some reason. They they, they, they like to give us those weird Marvel vehicle scooters, but that's just because they made them and then they keep giving us the same one. Right. But in cases like this, like we didn't even get Zords for the the Power Rangers line. I don't think we're going to get vehicles for GI Joes. No, they released a Zord pack for for Power Rangers for the Lightning Collection. Did you what what? That's what I'm talking about. We got the Beast Morphers one, which had no one's purchased. I, I don't know why I haven't. Something about it is not jumping out to me. But anyway, we'll move on. We'll move on. Uh, back to GI Joe. You're not going to get those vehicles, and that was kind of the appeal of three, three and three quarter inch figures. So I'm excited about a six inch GI Joe line. Are you texting me? Are you? Te- no, I'm definitely googling Lightning Collection to see if Zords because well, I'm pretty. Pr- there's um, they're on the shelves in Target. They're made by a different company. I don't think Hasbro made them, or like you know, Lightning Collection style. I don't know. They're Zords. I mean, Zords exist for like the basic figures. That's what I'm. Yeah, I'm just going to let you Google that. And uh, I'm going to go to my Amazon wish list because I got it over there. But anyway, is that uh, everything you're talking about this? Yeah, that's it. All right. So while you search for, you know, verification online that he will not find by the end of the show, because the show's over, bye. (laughs) (laughs) I can't have him have the satisfaction of finding this information. Doesn't exist. So uh, we did get some promotional images for uh, the new Transformers Earthrise line. Somebody did find the Prime overseas, and it looks really good. Uh, we got promotional images for Cliff Jumper, Starscream. The Starscream looks fantastic. Looking at the back of the figure and everything, just all around, that's the best figure out of that line. They, they, they looks like they really nailed it with Earthrise. We're going to see a Grapple, a Hoist, Wheeljack, and, of course, Prime. These are good looking figures. They don't have that weathering crap that Siege had on them. Which I didn't mind, but I minded it. like I said, I stopped collecting the Transformers. Like the next one I pick up will be Bumblebee and that's it. Well, then, you know, casual. Get on out of here. Okay, bye. <laughs> the other good one that I did see, uh, there is a 112. I, I like Assassin's Creed. I do. Um, there is a 112, or uh, actually it's a 1-6 scale Ezio figure. This is a good looking figure. The uh comes with a comes with a number of accessories. He's got the golden apple, his sword, the retractable blades. The head sculpt is fantastic on this. Uh this is uh it comes from a company called Damn Toys, which I and love I've, their name. I have heard of them. Love the name, but this figure looks really good. Uh I gotta say, it's 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 um it's a mixture of cloth and solid goods. And I think it has the perfect mix of it because it's his cape is clearly cloth. Yeah. But man, other parts of this look like they're cloth, but when you look up, up close, it's clearly plastic. Even I want this one. I miss owning Assassin's Creed figures. NECA did a really good job for a while, and then they just it just stopped. For a company that I've never really heard of, and for me to see this is their first, this is the first thing that I've seen from them. I'm impressed. Is this 10 inch? It is a one six scale, so it's going to be, uh, yeah, just about up there uh, between 10 and 11 inch scale. Oh, I see Bryce is making some considerations over there. I'm just checking it out. Man, I mean, Bryce, did you just pre order that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's selling this? Damn hey, hit, hit two quantity real quick. <laughs> okay, let me do that for you. Uh, the other one I was real excited about is uh, from LM Toys. They are making. Um, Joe and Ellie um, from, um, God, why can't I think of the name of the game? All That Remains? It's not All That Remains. The Last of Us. The Last of Us, God. I'm sorry. I don't know why they're calling it All That Remains, by the way. But the Joe and Ellie figures, they're uh, cloth goods. They are in the 112 scale, which, boom, you got my attention right away. The accessories these guys come with. Also, can we notice, everyone seems to be stealing Mezco's kind of presentation on here's the figure and here's all the accessories right. it comes with. Not that it's a bad thing to do. It's a very good presentation. Right. Oh yeah. This Joe and Ellie looks so good. The Joel, I will I want the Joel. I, I, I mean, there's a massive amount of accessories. The watch is shown as an accessory. Is this removable or God, something? I don't want to pay for it though. <laughs> uh, how much are they running? By the way? Uh, let, you you keep talking, I'll find out for you. Okay, I didn't um I didn't see how much. It was one of those like, wow. Those look great. I'll probably see the price and go like, maybe not. But they look, the head sculpts look fantastic. 
looks like they stepped off the video game. Um, like I said, I, I can't say enough about these figures. I know Bryce, you 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 don't like that one six scale because it doesn't match up with things you do. But man, they they do look impressive. I I am impressed with the with the head sculpts. I I wonder if they use some of the same uh, artists that Mezco employs. They they look fantastic. They really I, are. I I predict these will come as a two pack, which I think they should since they were, you know, so prominent in the game. Then that makes sense. Know, so yeah, Joe and Ellie figures from L and M Toys. You've got my attention, guys. Do you guys? They are unofficial fan projects, um, so the names aren't correct either. If mm. I'm not mistaken, it's E L L Y, and they use J O L. Oh, so they're they're used by this is, it's a this company. Is like my third party addiction here. It's a company called Lim Toys. I don't think there is a price point yet. Um, people are guessing about. Um, Probably over a hundred. They should nah, these should be at NECA price point. I'm sorry. Already you're unofficial. Okay. Yeah, they're they're about from people are guessing they're gonna be around eighty plus. Now I know that's for the two pack? I think individual. Ooh no, nah, they Ouch. didn't sell these as a two pack. Now I noticed it says summer version next to Ellie. Yes, that so is, that is a in one. the game. No, in the game, you're with them throughout a complete year. Okay. Yeah. It's a great you got a PlayStation. Yes. Even I own this game. I haven't played it though. Oh, I'm PlayStation Three. PlayStation Three. Uh, I think it was on Three. Yeah, it was on Three. Yeah, you need to play this game. This is a great one. Okay. This is a great story. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's. Uh, did I get everything? I think I got everything I wanted to talk about as far as new releases. Um. I did want to give an update on um the Valiverse. Of course, they did have a successful Kickstarter. Uh, Bobby Vela. He is uh, making these figures. Um. His goals. For some of the figures that people were wanting were a little bit higher. And those that have bought them, he has switched over to Crowd Ox to if you want to get some of these figures. And I think they will be in Big Bad Toy Store once they uh, get a release. But right now, he's kind of like doing a mini Kickstarter for one of the most popular characters out there, Eclipse. So uh, she is over the halfway point. Let me bring that graphic up. I believe she is at 20,000 of the 3,000... Um, uh, I'm sorry, she's at 20,000 of the 38,000 needed to produce this figure. Uh, she's still climbing. I know this was one of the figures that you wanted out of here. So I got to tell you, you're going to get one because I bought you one because <laughs> I want this project funded. Now, if it doesn't get funded, that money's just going to come back. That's so that so works, you yeah. better hope. Because <laughs> I was like, I, I want to support this. Because um, while we were talking about, everyone was talking about this rumored six inch G.I. Joe line. This guy is making a six-inch soldier-oriented um, line. They look really good. He is doing a bit of retooling on some of the faces and everything before they go to production, but there's still time to get your orders in. Um, I'll put a link to the CrowdOx page if you want to go and order some of these. They look fantastic, and uh, you're getting two, basically. So, I'm a, you know, a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to give you a small up update for what I did find for the third party, does look like Joel and Ellie will be separate, or you can buy them as a double pack. Okay, that'll be the only way I get these two because this was but, the, the game is ne it's necessary to get. These no, two. no information on price yet. I will patiently wait. And then my last bit of news. I hate both of you. Okay. Because you remember you you remember to bring this up, but we've talked about Lightning Collection, but there is a nine inch Power Ranger figure line, and so far. They have announced the Red Ranger. Well, actually, they've announced all five. Yes, they announced all five, but, but they've um, only shown the Mighty Morphin. Red, Red Ranger will be the first one up for sale. These are the Mighty Morphin. They are nine-inch scale. They have cloth goods. And they look fantastic. Yeah, I'm passing. <laughs> <laughs> they're, it they're, does look good. No. But like I said, I... <laughs> Removable it, helmets or no? No. no. These, are, these are made by a company called Figureborn. Uh, the price point on these is fifty-five a piece, which is not bad. Consider it's a nine-inch cloth uh, cloth line. No, not bad. Also comes with um, a wired fat. I don't know why they say it comes with a wired fabric cape. There are no capes in Power Rangers. Okay, it's in the or at least no not capes. these Power Rangers. Okay. Well, there are some. 
Uh, you get the figure, his uh, custom power sword weapon. You get a blade blaster in three types, something we don't see in Lightning Collection. Standard the blade, gun and the blade, yeah. Blade, collapse, and blaster form. The turbo slinger, if you remember that weapon, it looks like a slingshot. I don't care about this, but they threw it in there and interchangeable hands. Right now, looking at some um, some of the... Hey, hey, Jason. Give us your money. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a Power Rangers fan if you're not... If you're not going to collect. Oh, oh, you don't. oh. Wait, does that say, does that say Super Sentai coming soon? <laughs> he went there, but yeah, did. these look fantastic. I don't know. Nine inch scale would take up a lot of real estate. It's calling your name. I, you shut up. <laughs> you got you got no, room. Right now you're you got room over there. Okay, I don't. It's, it's true. You are adding more and more shelves to this area. You've got room. Uh, just just just. just Slow your roll, okay? <laughs> um, I don't know where I'm at on this. Um, but yeah, they went on just like, oh, by the way, we're making all five from the original Mighty Morphin team. So, Or Zoo Ranger for the uh, the true Super Saiyan fans out there. Season three, alternate heads. So guys, I went ahead and got the new nine-inch Power Ranger line. <laughs> I don't um, see yeah. a date for release. They are this. making that for Hasbro, though. I forgot to, we forgot to mention that. Um, they're not making clothes lines, but they're making like 10 inch has like Power Ranger figures that basic stuff, kind of like how we see with like the normal DC stuff around. Mm. They're doing that too. Limited not like articulation. Yeah. It, not that that's important, but I mean, if, if you want that like that, then you can have it like that. Also clearly these are from a Japanese company. They are using the Super Sentai license for these because I'm pretty sure Hasbro would. Oh, the, so what you're swoop in on them like an owl on a, on a rat. So what you're saying is, if you're not a real Super Sentai fan, then you, you... suck. <laughs> thank you, thank <laughs> you for clarifying. Yeah, there, there you thank go. You. <laughs> thank you. Nicely done. Because if anybody was making these third party, Hasbro would be like, ah, hold up here. Here's a here's a cease and desist. Let me just staple it to your forehead. <laughs> hey, Jason, you never complimented me on my cup. That was a nice cup, by the way. We we. You know, looks like hair got a little red. So did mine. So Man, it's all dry now. It's fine. Anyway, that's everything that's coming out. We we ran we we've run over a little bit here, uh. But yeah, that's the best stuff seen that's coming out this week. Anything else we want to cover? Tonight? Yeah, I'm still still waiting for my apology for Laurie Strode. Oh, oh, it'll come. Neca, it'll, it'll, it'll be there. It's coming. Well, when when is it coming? Uh, you can officially see the true apology in a couple of weeks on a show called Nerds with Coffee, episode five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We'll get there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, this is pretty much our road to the nerd Christmas, and that is Toy Fair. Baby. I know you're mad we didn't get in. He tried no, to see if we I, I did try to sign us up for Toy Fair. The 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 requirements to get in are ridiculous. Um, yeah, we don't we don't qualify, but it's fine. We've got a lot of other new stuff coming up that her, <laughs> that's a, demanding our attention anyway. So we'll get there one day. I but, think as we gear up towards Toyfair, we're going to start seeing a lot of things, uh, kind of leaks and yeah. just little, we are officially one month, three days, 14 hours and 32 minutes as of now from the recording on this Saturday. Yeah, so very excited. We like to do like a, a, like a late Sunday you show know, just so we get everything that comes out for Toy Fair. We might just do like a little mini podcast version. I'd like to point out season two, this is the most dropped figures we've had in a while that we've we just said, we, that we just said, screw it. Just let it be. But, we got something for that. People got you got nice close ups of all the figures. Uh, that was Bryce's idea. It was a good idea. I think it's a better presentation. So this is just the way things are over there. So anyway, well that's it then. We'll be back in two more weeks. Go ahead, Bryce. Well, I just want to make one more point. One more point as just, as another figure drops. I think you're just intentionally shaking the table. I'm not. I, no, I, I don't think we did. Uh, I, I'm I'm just liking the fact, and I'm and I'm thinking about the future. You got a Star Trek Mego last year, and now you're getting a NECA Bob Ross. These are the same kind of figures. They're both retro cloth. You're building your retro cloth collection. So congratulations. And then I, and will I be... have praised several cloth figures on this show. Oh, <laughs> and, no. and you got the Super Sentai 9-inch coming. <laughs> they got me. They got me. No! So you're, one day your retro cloth collection is going to be like a center... Bryce, I need you to do me a favor and stop texting me at four in the morning saying, get the cloth goods. And, you know, (laughs) it's not it's not going to work on me. You may have gotten to Jason. (laughs) Hey, Jason. All I need is time. Give me your money. (laughs) Jason, come on. All I need is time. That's all Uh, I need. He is. 
He is infecting us slowly. <laughs> this is a good infection. I own a seven inch. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, guys. So follow uh, alternate the Alternate Heads podcast. It's uh, at Alternate Heads podcast on yes. Instagram. Alternate Heads podcast. Uh, we've been kind of lax with the Instagram post there lately, but we've been we on we've been on break, break, so yeah. we're good. But mm-hmm. we've got some other stuff that we want to point out before we give our normal stuff. Of course, you see this episode comes out on Tuesdays now, so instead oh, of Mondays. Shout outs. Oh my god. I don't, I don't. I don't have anything. Okay, we're gonna skip it this week. I'm sorry. But we'll have we went guys. over, but yeah. See, uh, season two has started, so because of that, this does now come out on Tuesday, so I think this is the 23rd. I'm not sure. Probably not. I've got my dates wrong. No, but you... Super Cool Nerd Show does come back on Thursday. Mm-hmm. The yeah. 23rd. The 23rd. Uh, Anime TV is unfortunately not coming back, and but we do have a new show coming out February 3rd, Nerds with Coffee. It's a nice little f- different show that we've done that kind of breaks away from the norm that what we have. It's very different. It's a more game show related. We've been doing some extra episodes to kind of get us caught up, but it's been, they've been a lot of fun to record. Look forward to those. I think you'll really like them. Those will be every Monday and Friday, just in case you got tired of waiting for us for two weeks. And we're getting everybody involved on this one too. Nerds with coffee. It's going to be great. Yes, it will. So in the meantime, if you want to follow us all personally, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason the X. You can follow me on my mainly active on Instagram, which is at the near plasma, where you can follow my comic line. Uh, I think it's near comics. You know, I kind of brought that back. You can follow me at Bryce Culver on Facebook and Instagram. And on Instagram, I have a toy page. It's called Trapdoor Toys. Check it out. You can also find me on Instagram at the good cast and the bad cast. Just oh God. <laughs> it's a bit of a trick though. You want to follow the good cast one for the good, uh, for the bad pictures and you want to follow the bad cast one for the good pictures. <laughs> All right, I'm going. We'll see right. you later. Well, that is it for us guys. We will catch y'all in two weeks and always stop and smell the plastic. I normally play the theme song at some point as we're closing out. So I'm going to go ahead and start that up now. So I kind of messed up on that one. I'm out of practice. (laughs) Season two, baby. Still waiting on my apology. Let me turn the music. Lori Strode. And you'll hear it. Bryce, I'm sorry you are a a retro cloth collector. No, you're not. Get six inch. No, you're not. (laughs) That's just rude. That was rude. You're coming around. You're a retro cloth collector. You're coming around. All right, that's it, boys. Okay. Okay, so I didn't mention this during the show, but